On the short or transversal axis, the internal jugular vein is identified as a vessel anterolateral to the common carotid artery, which is compressible and non-pulsatile. On the long or longitudinal axis, the internal jugular is more superficial than the common carotid. To ensure safety during the puncture, it is convenient to move the transducer laterally until the carotid can no longer be seen under the jugular. After removing the remnants of gel, the skin is prepared with an antiseptic solution. The cannulator prepares the material and surgical field using an aseptic technique. The ultrasound transducer is then covered using a sterile sheath to avoid contaminating the surgical field. Using sterile saline solution as a coupling medium, the internal jugular vein is relocated on the long axis. To minimize the risks arising from possible posterior vein wall puncture, it is better to avoid the planes in which the carotid appears underneath. The Seldinger needle is inserted in plane to observe the entire length of the needle. After verifying the intravascular location of the needle tip, proceed to aspirate with the syringe and confirm that venous blood reflux is observed. The transducer is then removed and the guide wire introduced through the needle. Confirming that the guide wire is in an intravascular position in the internal jugular vein is recommended. Once the guide wire is inserted, continue with the Seldinger technique for catheter insertion. <laughs>